back to back push. I love it. Is it because you knew that I have a man crush on Gavin? A uh, little bit of that and a little bit because it's the Foo Fighters radio and Pandora. <laughs> just uh, happened to be happened to be what they were playing. I love the Foo Fighters, too. Yeah, so, pretty good. Um, all right, you know what that sound means. And if you don't, I'll explain. It means last call where we go around the world of sports, talk about uh, some of the topics going on right now, get our quick thoughts on them, maybe also throw in some entertainment. We've also enjoyed over the last couple of weeks doing a little would ya or wouldn't ya. Where we uh, where we talk about a girl, or we talk about a oh no, we always talk about a girl, yes. but it, it it could be a girl in a certain role, yes. like uh, Charlize. It's about as demeaning as possible. Yeah, like uh, we do that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> whatever. So, <laughs> it's a bit. So maybe, Get so over. maybe, I think Wilkes has has maybe a couple lined up for that. So uh, want to jump right in here uh, before the storm gets us, and uh, let's talk about To. We uh, that's actually something we've talked about during the breaks for the past uh, for the past couple hours. Released from his what was it his IFL team is that what it is um, that he had part ownership yeah, in not just released but they took away his ownership yeah, also and fired I give yeah I mean in a strange way apparently the uh, the owner John Frankel of the Allen Wranglers so in case uh, you have a TO card he was on the uh, he was on the Forty <laughs> ers Cowboys Bills Bengals Eagles and the Allen Wranglers, but apparently his refusal to Tio's refusal to play in two upcoming road games going to kill my IFL fantasy team that are critical to the play to the team's playoff hopes. And Owens is no show for a scheduled appearance at a local children's hospital. Um, those two apparently the breaking points. I mean, just I mean, where do we begin with this? Where do we begin Gotta with this hope. guy? I mean, you hope that there's something else to the story. Like he was told Wednesday or something, and it was actually Tuesday. That the guy just didn't come to a. He has nothing else to do. He needs to make money as much. Right. He has what, four or five kids that he needs to pay for. So, but if this is true, if there was any hope for him, then this is the end. Yeah, this is pretty much it. And it just what a strange way. I mean, this continues to happen, and it's been talked about before. But just this wide receiver problem. I mean, you don't see this with running backs. You don't see this with quarterbacks. You don't see this with any other position. It's, in all it's, sports, you see it with wide receivers. I think there's definitely a diva aspect of it. And yeah, but, and, but I know. And these I, guys I, think, you but, still just can't just say yeah, it's, they're divas. I mean, but and these guys think they can hold on. And you know, sometimes you just need to know that. And when you lose it in at a wide receiver, it's you're easily replaceable. Yeah. Well, I think there's like quarterbacks, you know, where you can always quarterbacks. There's always seemed to be a spot for it. And, and oh, I guess, and I guess these type of divas, be, a good old veteran and, and I guess somewhere. Wilkes, like you said, with these type of divas that they are and have somehow have become, they don't go and be backups on teams. You know, no, Tio, no, they're not. They're not a fifth wide. Re- yeah, Tio's not going to be a fifth or sixth wide receiver. So, well, like a guy like you know, I'll just use Burnell for example. I know he just retired, but yeah, he could have stuck around forever. Someone would have always had him on his team because Mark Burnell was like this. He knew he couldn't, and I think older position players know that they can't do certain things anymore. Or wide receivers like don't come to that. So whatever reason it just doesn't click with them. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh move on. Let's talk about hard knocks. LeBron recently took his talents to South Beach. Now Hard Knocks will do the same. It's gonna be the Miami Dolphins this year on the show. Uh what do you guys think about about the potential Dolphins season? I wanna say like whatever about the Dolphins, but I know it'll be awesome. And yeah. I'll love it. Yeah. Because I always love I mean, it. Those guys do a great job. I actually uh uh, I'm very close with somebody who is a producer for for Hard Knocks, and he was actually very excited. He said there's a lot of potential down there, not just because it's Miami, but new coach, new quarterback, and if you remember Tannehill's smoking hot girlfriend on the draft, hopefully she's around in in a couple of the episodes. Those guys so. put together who does such the voice good product. Liv, 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 Liv Schreiber, Schreiber, yeah, who that does, dude who does everything for HBO. Yeah. Well, he has the best voice. I mean, he he ever could, he could narrate us sitting in the basement, and it would sound <laughs> interesting. Yeah, that dude's voice. Anytime he does anything, I'm like, well. I'm in. I don't care what it is. So, are there any players? First of all, can you name any players on the Dolphins? I, I I remember last week we did this game where can you name at least six players on every team? Devon Best. First, can, can, can you name them? Second of all, uh, are you interested in learning about anybody, or is it, or is that kind of the fact that you don't know anybody? Sort of, in, 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 does the that fa- interest the you? The fact that I don't know anyone interests me. I'm always you always like to see the. Right, because somebody's going to step up. Somebody's going to have a good personality. Obviously, it's the random. Carlos Dansby is the crazy one, right? It's He's, the random. It's going to be the random white wide receiver yep. that you're going to fall in love with, or the random white. It's you always going to be cheering it's for. It's always yep. the random white kid that you yep. who's playing his butt off that you end up. Do you for. do you now? Uh, do you now regret or wish Brandon Marshall was still on the team? 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> only be more interesting. Yeah, I agree. But you don't you don't know how guys like that are gonna be. Like he might just be an an a hole, so he may not work. Where guys like Ojo Single were, you know, were like the camera and can kind of liven it up. Yeah, like I like Brandon Marshall just might be an a hole all the time. Yeah, which it just no point. Yeah. Um. Any hopes that it was the Redskins? I know it's been uh, this also has been talked about before. Snyder will probably, you know, he's he's admitted he doesn't want it. Uh, but just from your favorite team standpoint, well, do you want? I don't. Do you want yeah, that? I don't. Uh, why wouldn't you? Unless you think it's going to be distracting. I don't. It doesn't seem to be distracting. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know enough about it. It doesn't seem to be too. Yeah, I, there's got to be some reasons behind you know behind the scenes that you that you, uh, you know that 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 that, that go into the decision obviously. Um, but I've, I've, and it's been proven. It's been told not, not just by inside sources that a lot of teams do turn it down. They, they just don't want the, they don't want the media hype. They don't want. Trust the... me, if, if you don't think Hard Knocks wasn't trying to get RG three. Oh man. Oh, they would love that. But I mean, I guess at the same time, you don't want any distractions when you're trying to groom. Mm-hmm. Well, some people don't. Apparently, <laughs> some people are completely fine with that. Yeah, but at the other point, if you're the Dolphins and you have problem. And you have problems f- selling your seats? Mm-hmm. Why not? Yeah. If it gets a thousand people in Miami to be like, I kind of like the I like this team. Yeah. I what like about, these guys? What about the 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 variable though, and the element that it's a new quarterback, new head coach, new system? I, I mean, is that a good or bad thing? I mean, don't you almost want something that's that's a little bit more stable and a little bit more structured you, already? No, you because I I know I wonder what kind of chaos. You you know you you're getting into behind the scenes and you're talking about if you're hard knocks or if you're the Dolphins. Well, both. I don't think the Dolphins care either way because they it's chaos on the field or off the field. So yeah, it's it's it was it was kind of you know a wash for them. It, like well like Will said, if it helps them pick up some some new people in the seats, and that's that's much better. And for hard knocks, I think you know either way, either the real hardcore football heads are going to be like, man, you know, I'm I'm getting to watch some of the some of the greatest minds in the business draw stuff up and, and do some really cool stuff. Or, you know, who doesn't love to see a train wreck? So right. it's a win-win for them. But they never make it They never make it look like a train wreck. Uh, they're a little bit more classy than that, but you can, it, you can see the train wreck lurking. But I feel like when I watch some of these old ones, you look at this team, you're like, that team can win the Super Bowl. Even when they did Kansas City, they make you believe. Yeah. Like, that team. That team's a, they definitely put a positive spin on it. Yeah, I mean, because that, and it's, every team looks good in the spring, you know. One thing that I've always wanted to see. All those guys look good with the, you know, with. One thing I've always wanted to see, and to be honest, I honestly thought it had happened. I don't know why my mind thought it did, but two teams going at once and that that end up playing each other in the fourth game of the preseason. So like they did with the Capitals Rangers type thing? A little bit. Yeah. That was in the that was during the season, which which would be great too. But yes. That's absolutely. same that same idea. Yeah, exactly. So but I think there's a, enough material they don't you know. But I think bottom line is like we've all talked about, no matter the team, we're just excited to, yeah. for for hard knocks. I mean, especially I mean, after not, especially not yeah, having it yeah, last I missed year. Missed it last year. Um let's also talk about a couple Roy's. Uh, at one time teammates, now both Roy's in baseball uh are are in the news. Roy Oswalt signing with the Rangers today. Though his old team could have used him uh, as a signing as well, because Roy Holiday out for six to eight weeks with a lat strain, similar to I believe to what Michael Morse has been going through. So, uh, first for Roy Oswalt, demanding so much money, getting it from the Rangers, uh, smart move. I mean, is this something uh, now that the you know, Roy that the, Oswalt's the smartest man alive? That the Rangers just get smart, or you know, the the rich get richer now? Yeah, Ro- Ro- Roy Oswalt one is on a, a team, a great team. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to go to spring training. He showed up in the middle of the season when they're already winning. I mean, the guy's a freaking genius. He and just, he got his money. And he got his money. The guy just sat on his butt for the first 40 games. It was like, yeah, I'll wait. Oh, the best team in baseball? Okay. <laughs> you guys talked me into it. So it you're, saying, you're saying that the offense puts up 10 runs a game, so I just need to give up nine or less? Oh, I can do that. <laughs> That's good. Uh, what about the impact that Roy Halladay uh, being out for, for so long? He is somebody that... You know, not only has he been the best pitcher in baseball, but he's been the most consistent, especially with the number of innings he's pitched, the number of you know the number of quality starts. As as long as he goes in games, now the Phillies already at the bottom of a very tough division, lose their ace for for two months. Well, we kind of talked about it on you know Sunday, and I said the Nationals should maybe be worried about Philly, but that's that my friends is dead and gone. That team is, is that out the window now. The team is toast. I mean, we, you're gonna miss him for they, they, they said six weeks. Yeah, six to eight weeks, probably two, probably closer two to two months, eight. basically. So you're basically gonna get him back at what the All Star game, maybe a little after. 
Does that seem about right? Give or take. Yeah, probably after. Probably after? Yeah. Pff, forget it. Tough burn. Yeah. That's that's a bad beat for them. I mean, for the Nationals. I'm not crying for them, but it's a bad <laughs> beat for them. For the Nationals, now you're looking. Now you, if I'm the Nationals fan, I'm loving this because now I'm really competing with one team. Mm-hmm. Basically just competing with the Marlins. Which they're doing right now. Which they're actually, why it's, it's, uh, it's happening behind us. <laughs> it is happening as we speak. As, so, I mean, th- that's the team I'm, really the only team I'm worried about. All right. So, uh, let's move on there. We'll stick with baseball, but a little bit of a, of a, of a different kind of story. I would say a lighthearted story, but it ended up bad. Jonathan Lucroy, did we hear about this? Um, he also got injured, broke his hand. Oh, the was the suitcase guy? Yeah, when a suitcase fell on him, searching for a sock, and apparently it was the wife's fault. Wait, w- <laughs> looking for a sock and a suitcase Lucroy fell on him? Lucroy said he was reaching under his hotel bed in Los Angeles, searching for a sock when his wife shifted a suitcase, causing it to fall on his hand. Dang. <laughs> the article I'm reading here on Yahoo says it sounds like a I Love Lucy skit. It does. Well, unfortunately, he's now out for six weeks because of that. What? Broken hand, dunzo. I mean... Do you blame the wife? Like, are you mad at the wife? You know what? That story <laughs> almost sounds not true. <laughs> like, that almost sounds like not really what happened at all. Yeah. Well, it's punching my wife's face. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she I, ducked, I, and I hit the I hit the <laughs> column instead of her head. I, I don't know if he's that kind of guy. I'm not slandering this guy's name. I'm just saying it sounds fabricated. So yeah, I mean, but okay, that that is a good point. Then, when you do hear crazy stories like this, is it is it unfortunately your first reaction? <laughs> oh, what you say? You know, to say... Uh, I will say my first reaction to any time anyone breaks their hands doing anything yep. is immediately some type of spousal issue. That's <laughs> immediately where I go to. <laughs> like, when I hear, like, broke his hand fixing his car, I'm like, he yep. definitely was mad at his wife and probably punched uh-huh. the wall. Yeah. Like, that's what I immediately... I mean, I'm going to say I'm gonna say at least 60 to 70% of the time, that's what I assume as well. Yeah. It's but, just, it, 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 it was something way, way more than they're saying. How's that? Yes. Cause, I'm, cause you try Hopefully to, gets better. you try to think of like how it could happen, like how the suitcase could, like what what's the suitcase made out of? How many bowling balls were in it? Like what was going on that the suitcase fell on this athlete's hand? He's not a frail old man. If the handle or the wheel fell right on your hand, the bed's not that tall. Like how much time did it have to accelerate? I, you know what? I'm not buying the story. Not true. It's a lie. <laughs> So you know you're what? Just, you're just already saying that it's done. I'll let it's you, done. Kevin, yes. go go pack. <laughs> I'll let you drop a yeah, suitcase. Well, what could be in the suitcase? That that maybe that's yeah. the question. That like we're, I'm just saying, unless she's a professional bowler, <laughs> unless she's doing the bowling circuit while he's playing baseball, <laughs> right. I can't imagine anything. How? C- I can't even. If I can't even fathom how it would happen, <laughs> I then I can't. Then I, I don't can't believe. Noodle it. Yeah, I've dropped things on my hand before that are pretty dang heavy. I've n- I know how heavy a suitcase is, but what the heck? Because it wouldn't fall. A suitcase wouldn't fall direct enough, right, for it to, I feel like to do damage. But I I think the story that we're all missing here, or or that we can relate to, is that socks are very difficult to keep track of. <laughs> yes, I mean you know I mean, what that's I mean, we that's can actually all agree the real story. That, right? <laughs> we, we can all agree with that. Uh, let's do a little aim at the, Entertainment page, excuse me, have a little fun. Apparently, did you guys hear Britney Spears' oh. demands for her dressing room in uh, her her X Factor uh, uh, dressing room? Obviously, no. Did we hear about that. Uh, how about how about cases of Diet Coke? How many do you think she needs? Brit for Britney Spears' room. Yeah. How many cases does she need? Three. Okay. Fifteen. Six. Six cases of Diet Coke. How many bags of Doritos? Any guesses? Oh, she's she's Gosh, looking so, rough. So what? No snack. Okay, so I I apologize here. Snack sized bags of Doritos. Oh, so oh, a full nice. joint, but uh, ten. Twenty. On the dot, ten. How yeah. about pieces of chicken? Preferably fried. Now I cannot. I I've checked <laughs> two sites now. Both both say this, so I don't know how true it is, but but both say preferably both say fr- this. fried. Ten pieces of chicken. Four pints of potato salad. 12 Snickers bars backstage. Uh, and here it's funny because Brittany is just not Brittany when she's hungry. Um, 12 <laughs> vases of Magnolia Blossoms. 34, I mean, I'm going to butcher this, Irv Leisure dresses. 
Uh, apparently, these dresses are famous for having spanks built into them, something Brittany will need after this long list of junk food. Uh, the dresses are estimated around $2,000 each. She also has a manicurist, a facialist, a massage therapist, a doctor, I, I, and a psychologist. You know, I, I've, I've always I've thought this for years. She's, she's hanging on by the thinnest of threads. So my question is, what's in your dressing room? What's oh, wow. a what's what what does MJ demand to be in his dressing room? See, some of those demands are just to make sure that they're paying attention to you. Yeah. Um assuming that I'm going to have some friends around, I'll I want like uh cuz actually speaking of this before you I actually read a thing about Van Halen where they they had in the rider no brown M&Ms. What they did though is they put that the no brown M&Ms thing in the middle of all their sound and like lighting right. requests. To make sure that people were paying attention to all of it. To make sure they read the whole thing. Yeah. So they would get the sound and lighting necessary. Right. Huh? That's pretty clever. And so okay. that's how that's how they know. I was like, all right. That's but genius. let me list the l- l- let me narrow it down to three things that you that you asked for in your in your dressing room. You're you are you're of Britney Spears fame. You can demand it. No big deal. You'll have somebody get it for you. Three things. Uh couple of pizzas. Pizzas. Okay. Uh, twelve pack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beer. See, I, I look. I love beer. I love pizza. Maybe but some I'm, water. But I'm not going either of those places. I think I'm going like Skittles. Maybe one one regular bag, one tropical bag. The purple joint, obviously the best. And then maybe what? like the new like Skittles Riddles or something. What? Something like that. Throw them all into a big bowl. I'm a happy camper. That's one for sure. You want Skittles? Skittles. And I think a soda. A soda choice. Maybe a fountain Coke. You get me a fountain Coke. A fountain? That's what I you want. want the fountain in your room? I don't like know the, if I want that, but maybe sh- maybe enough like in the fridge with ice that I don't want. Don't give me a can. All right, I'm too I'm too famous for a can right now. Okay. What if What if they get you one of those fancy glass bottles from Mexico that uses the real sugar? Uh, no, I've actually had that. They're terrible. The real sugar makes things real bad. Give me the fake stuff. Okay. <laughs> really? I like the Coke from Mexico oh, with the it. real sugar cane. I, and I hate like the real Mountain Dew and stuff. I hate it. Um, what's your I, third thing? What would I want? I don't know. That's a good. I think just bottles of water. I mean, like beer, water, and pizza. I think that's. I'm pretty sure water you kind of get already. This is something. Oh, maybe crazy. Oh, okay, Fiji water. Hmm. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Well, like you want Fiji any- water. By the way, <laughs> Fiji water is better than regular water. Don't let anybody. Would fool you, you want any pizza? I, I, I don't know if I can tell the difference. I don't want pizza. Would you just want like I want a pepperoni too, pizza? Or do you want like I want a. Uh, I want a flipping pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I could yes. I could get a local brand wherever. I, I hate you. <laughs> you do hate him. Wilkes, what would you have in yours? Um, I don't know. You'd oh, have a sunroof. Please, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to think like what type of food that I really enjoy that I'd want. Like, I'd probably want some like chicken tenders with good honey mustard. I would want a Chick Fil A platter with mm, with oh. with the honey mustard from Woodside Deli and Rockford. I would like. I would like. Give a, me those I would joints. like. Honor Palmer's. Okay. And Chick Fil A. So you say you don't. It took you two seconds. Now you know it. Yeah, but once I got that Chick Fil A thing, I want. I would. Want, I knew <laughs> God, what I wanted. I'm to go with so my hungry right now. Yeah, a Chick Fil A little sandwich, would, little sandwich yeah. Chick Fil A platter. I would murder five Chick Fil A sandwiches w- right now. Wa- waffle fries. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. All right, so slow sports day. I think we're done with last call too, Wilkes. I know you said you had some woodja. Woodja two. Okay, two woodjas. First is Demi Moore when she did GI Jane. Absolutely. A hundred percent. So shaved head. A thousand percent. A hundred percent. That actually kind of turns me on. <laughs> okay. See, I thought we would say yeah, because the shaved head not is turned off. Not that big of a deal. Now, and I don't think this is the right room for this one, but I'm going to try it. Serena Williams. Right just, now? Just regular. You just know what? regular well, Serena see, Williams. See, now here's where you get into the would you as versus like, you know, do I actually, am I actually Excited? Am I turned on? I think I would to see what it's like. <laughs> I feel like it's it's like a it's like an amusement ride for me. Not not that she'd be, not that she's a, amusing or or you know what I mean. It's it's just for me it would be it would be an experience that I don't know if I could turn down. It's it's like diving with sharks. It's terrifying, but you still kind of want to do it just for the rush. <laughs> terrifying. Because <laughs> I look at her, I'm I just mean, it's like, probably painful, right? It's, oh, it's gotta hurt. Oh, it's. It's it's she has uh, muscles in most pl- places people don't yeah, have well, muscles. Her thigh muscles would just she crush would, you. Yeah. I mean you'd have a you'd have a shredded your your, your pelvis would be crushed. No chance. It'd just be powder. Yeah, you'd be done. Well, there's zero chance you let her you, you let her get on top. <laughs> Zippy chance. That's game over. You will regret that for the rest of your life if you let that happen. 
Uh, if if she was if she didn't have the name attached, no chance. But because it's her, uh, yeah, I I so I I give it to her. All right. Did you to go back? Did you say you would do 1996 Carrie Shrug? I did not say that. So I how can you not do 1996 Carrie Shrug for the name? Uh, but and given, then do well, the I time, said I would. Given the yeah. time with well. the hurt ankle, I no I I. I I don't actually remember, but I probably would do the, the Carrie Strug, especially have her just 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 hop around and <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Just kind of kind of reenact re- reenact the, the just landing. Just do the routine real quick. Yeah. So, uh, but Serena's that's a oh, you know what that's that's a that's an under the gun decision. That's a that's a fight or flight response for me. It just is. That's the one thing when I when I see people talk about her, you know, say especially the brothers when they talk about her, I'm like. Well, we are in a lot of things, but this one. She only dates white guys, right? No, she dated Common. Uh, yeah, that guy doesn't really count as a white guy. <laughs> in fact, he, he's not really fond of white guys from what I've heard. <laughs> so, she does date, I mean, yeah, not my. That's tough. I, I, I can't, I, I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're so hesitant right now, dude. It's just because you can't pass up the story. It's true. Because even if people, th- like, even if you thought Serena Williams was gross, if you told me, even if I, because even if she's not my type, the minute you tell me, like, dude, last night I had sex with Serena Williams. Yeah. Whatever else is happening around me. Skirt. Skirt. It's, it's where that, the, the record stops. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, mush, people are talking to me. I'm mushing them in the face. Be like, <laughs> if your story is going to beat this story, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> and you have that story forever. Yeah. It's not like she's a no one that's. Just for the story alone. Yeah. Uh, I would I would probably do it. All right, so I think I think maybe both of those were Woods. I mean, I think we would both for sure. Um, all right, well, the first one was too easy. You got to you got to you got to step your game up next week. I was thinking only because one, the the because she was ultra muscular and the shaved head thing. I think you actually need to look at Demi Moore, GI Jane. Maybe I'm still thinking Demi Moore like Google striptease. It. Yeah, Google it or maybe whatever we'll movie she was. So in. we re- we recap today. Talked a lot of NBA today. Uh, that actually took up most of our time, didn't it? Britney Spears shaved head. No. Yeah, for sure. No. Um, Cra- with a what about the crazy time where not where she before she shaved her whole head where she had like the hair at the back. That's still, even I still do it. Uh, like yeah. So talk, talked a lot of NBA. Apparently, Randy Whitman will be back next year. We talked draft lottery, which happens tomorrow night, Wednesday night. Hopefully, Wizards get uh, a top pick. Um, then uh, we talked NBA playoffs, uh, Spurs and Thunder, Heat and Celtics. We're all excited on, on those fronts, I think. So, uh, you know, it's a good time. And you know what? I don't even think we've mentioned the Redskins once all show. So there'll be plenty of weeks coming up where, we'll, where we will talk about them. But uh, uh, for tonight, probably, you know, we, we, you know, we, we skipped that. There, there will be OTAs and things coming up where we get a chance to talk about that. So uh, for myself, for MJ, for Wilkes, good night. We'll see you next week. See you soon.